Hello, and welcome to the January Capstone Fund 5 video newsletter report. Remember, this is for January collections, December 2021 accrual period. So in January, we actually had a 10.21% return for everybody. Really good return to start off the year. Pretty happy with that. We also actually had eight loans paid off. So we do have a little cash in the fund right now to redeploy and fund some new loans coming up here in February. Total Capstone Fund 5 capital invested stands at 10.3 million as of the end of December, 2021. 2022, we are really gonna be pushing forward to get up to the $20 million mark within Capstone Fund 5. So let anybody you know that's looking for some yield tied to some real estate security, let them know we exist, let them know we're looking to raise more money into Fund 5 and we are taking in new investors. Now for some national news. It's just been reported that 2021 was the highest, most active year of sales in terms of units since 2006. So the most houses sold in the United States in 15 years. So a little bit counterintuitive as we hear that supply was not at an all time high or that many people weren't listing their homes, that kind of thing, and that prices have risen quite dramatically in the last year, but still, the most homes sold in the U.S. since 2006. That's an impressive number. Now, while 2021 was the most home sales in the U.S. since 2006, we're not expected to slow down much in 2022, even as the Fed increases rates 25 basis points at a time, a few times probably forecasted in 2022. However, home appreciation is only expected to slow down a little bit because of the supply and demand balance. Here locally, let's talk about a little bit of news that came out the other day about rent increases. An article came out about the top 20 cities where rents have increased, and six of the top 20 are here in Arizona, Scottsdale, Gilbert, Chandler, and then coincidentally, El Mirage, one you might not think about. Top reasons rents are going up, more wealthy renters, more people wanting to rent and live on their own, have more space at home if they're working from home. Those types of issues are really driving rents up. And as rents go up, cap rates go up, and it helps support home pricing levels. Speaking of home pricing levels, now we can get some final numbers to you for the year 2021. As we've been reporting already in these videos, the overall appreciation rate of homes in the Phoenix market, 30%, is what we saw in the Phoenix market in terms of an average appreciation rate over the last year being 2021. Median price of homes sold, 434,000. Cities where prices went up the most, again, El Mirage, Santan Valley, Surprise, Glendale. So those suburban satellite community where we're focusing on lending in right now in Fund 5, the numbers just keep supporting that strategy and the focus on that lending. So have a great rest of your month. Appreciate you watching. Again, call us if you have a question, any type of concern, you wanna invest more money in Fund 5, you have a friend that might invest some money in Fund 5, give us a ring, be happy to talk to you, talk to them, come by for a cup of coffee. We'd love to see you. Have a great rest of your month and take care.